Welcome to Thought Zone. This is a podcast where we talk about weird dreams, odd laws, and interesting thoughts. I'm Brett Splatoon 2 Hater Hanrahan. How can you lie like that? You, I don't know how you lie. I yeah, hate that's... anyone who plays Splatoon 2. No, man, that's too far. No, that's too far. Yeah. We have to that's, start the episode that's, over. Yeah, that's not Brett, funny. We gotta oh. start over. All right. Brett, I'm Brett Pokin Tournament Hater Hanrahan. Well, I mean, not no. quite. No! Well, no, no, not that either. No, not, 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 quite. not that either. No. no. Okay. I'm Brett Bubsy Lover Hanrahan. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I love Bubsy. Everyone loves Bubsy. I forgot who Bubsy was for a second, and then I it suddenly like clicked in my brain, and I went, oh. Yeah. 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 Who are you? <laughs> who are well, you? Well, um. I'm Samuel, High Priest of Marriage Ceremonies and the Paladin of the Order, Risley. <laughs> Congratulations to us all. Uh, Thank you. I like to, Thank uh, you. I, I'm, I've, I'm honored to uh, finally have achieved my dream of becoming a Holy Paladin. As you all know, a, a Paladin must swear their sacred oath at level three. Oh, yeah. Are you saying and, you're not uh, there yet? I have. No, I, I, I've reached it. Getting being ordained was my uh, third was my third level. I'm not, I've I've become, I had I had to take my oath there. They were like, all right, before you beca- can become ordained to uh, administer weddings, you must uh, take your sacred oath. Yeah, and then they like got out the handbook and they're like, okay, you get a. Uh, oh, yeah, they pulled they pulled it out and then they they even pulled out like the second the second book xanathar's guide to everything and said you also have two more options not listed in the oh, wow. original player's handbook i you went to a real nice place then i did it was very fancy wow i i even i had to get down on one knee and they like de- they uh and recite an oath before the uh ancient lords what's your armor class now believe it or not it's gone up to about 19 wow that's going to be tough to hit that's it's great. real hard and so I swore, I swore my oath of uh, redemption so that I was able to, uh, I was able to perform marriage rites. <laughs> I, you know, I didn't read the tiny little text that said when you, when you choose this, you also get to marry people. But well, that's the oath of vengeance cool. can't marry people. Like, what the, the fuck are they going to well, do? Well, you marry out of spite. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the, I think that's the plot of Romeo and Juliet. Anyway, I could have sworn there was a third person here maybe not or maybe it's the new york <laughs> new york best time seller <laughs> author of how to cope with not being funny cyan haskins <laughs> <laughs> and i you just got that award recently how did you feel about that yeah um i, I got it when i when i sold my i think it's a hundred thousandth book yeah that you get that you get the new york times best selling author well, you were on Dr. Phil, so it got a lot of traction. It sure did. Yeah, then. he did advertise my book at the end. Yeah. And give away 100,000 copies, which I guess is how I got <laughs> it's a New York Times bestseller. It's, I guess it is never... it really a seller, though, if he gave it away? Uh, yeah, you, yeah. Don't, you don't really... Clar- it doesn't really clarify. Well, you don't I guess actually he had to, to buy the copies buy first, so yeah. Yep, so technically, yeah, he did the Taylor Swift thing. The Taylor mm-hmm. Swift thing, yeah, where the what? her her dad bought a hundred thousand copies of her first album, so she would get on like the top forties. Really? Oh my god, I never knew that. That was a thing. It's a conspiracy theory, but like, <laughs> but oh. it's true. <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> anyway, yeah, my book, coping with not being funny. Uh, you can buy it on Amazon. Oh, I thought I thought you only could get it through Doctor Phil. <laughs> Yeah, Amazon.com yeah. slash Dr. Phil store. Dr. Phil. Uh, if you scroll through, it's like the fourth thing on the list of his merch. You have to give him the and secret if you need, password. And if you need me to bless said book, just give me a call. Yeah, hey. will do. Sam will bless anything. You go to him, he'll bless anything. Come on down. I'll bless your dog, your mom, your dad. <laughs> fucking sword dildos. Good credit, oh. low credit, no credit, bad credit, good credit. I don't give a fuck credit. I'll, I'll, I'll bless it. I'll, I'll, I'll bless it. I'll bless those sword dildos for you. <laughs> I will bless ET. <laughs> That's one thing I won't bless. It's been cursed. No, you need to bless it. That way, it can not be a curse anymore. 
Well, Sam, if if you would do me the honor of blessing this dream I have. Uh, okay. Could you could you do like a preemptive blessing and then like a post blessing after I say I, it? I need to hear I need to hear the dream first, my child. Okay. All right. I'll, yeah, I'll give it to you then. Okay. This dream comes from Tessa Strain on Twitter. Uh, I had a dream where I received two honorary Teen Choice Awards and was like, what am I going to do with these surfboards? Well, thank God, because they don't get they don't give you the surfboard. They don't? Wait. Mm-mm. Why not? What? I don't know why I'm full of the conspiracy theories or whatever, but this one's like true. Fucking, you don't get this fucking surfboard. Are you? What? They give sort they give slash don't give surfboards out at the Teen Choice Awards. Yeah, like that's their trophies. Like they're like, and here's your Nickelodeon Teen Choice Awards surfboard or whatever, and they give it to them on stage, and they take it off stage, and then they give it back to Nickelodeon. That really does seem to be like. And the, the people, you know how like people like will win, but like aren't at the show or whatever, like other categories and shit. Yeah. Like they never yeah. get the surfboards, even though like they're supposed to. Do they at least get like? a certificate or something no like plenty yeah. of plenty of youtubers who have like since youtubing is like a thing now or whatever and in the past like five years they've yeah. youtubers have been on the teen story swords and they've all spoken out and been like yeah i never fucking got that goddamn surfboard <sighs> i'm so- <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> I, on a, though honestly i'd be pretty fucking mad about it if you didn't get the yeah. surfboard i'd be pissed as fuck real quick sam can you bless that dream i'll bless it what was their name again uh, te- Tessa Strain. <laughs> it was at Tessa, Tessa Strain. Tra- Tessa Strain, my child. You will receive your surfboards soon. Wow. And Nickelodeon will receive their comeuppance. Um, I was about to say comeuppance, <laughs> but you beat me to I'm it. I'm glad we all sit- could say. I-, I was trying to think of a better word than comeuppance. Yeah, I guess oh, that's kind um, of a dumb I better, word. I better, I better finish. Uh, in the name of our lords and ladies. Amen. I uh, amen. Ah uh, man. And also, it might uh, be Tessa's train, or I don't. Yeah, it's. I'm not sure. Uh, but it's one of those two. It could be either Tessa's train or it could be Tessa's strain. Uh, we we really just don't know. It's really unclear. But we do know that she doesn't have to worry about those surfboards. But I, I wanted to make, I wanted to do something. Let's come up with other, like, awards that we actually can give to these teens and their choices. I can give, I can give them the word, the, the, uh, award of Nickelodeon will soon receive their holy retribution <laughs> for skimping on these surfboards. That, that will be appreciated. So I'm here's sure. the thought. What if... You know how, like, you get, like, Nickelodeon, like, the whole thing, like, the logo is, like, the slime splatter, and it was, like, you get slimed. Yeah, I was getting to that. Oh. What if, on these game shows and on these, like, uh, competition shows or whatever, the award ceremonies, you don't get slimed? This is in the AU where, like, they kept the foot throughout, like, the 2000s as well. I don't like where Uh. this is going. You just get slapped with feet. But what I'm saying exactly. is, what if just a giant foot comes from the sky and just d- kills, and kills you? Yeah, <laughs> like you, you lost the game. You get the foot. <laughs> oh, you're saying you're saying that just replaces the entire slime concept. Yes, completely. Oh yeah, and the winner still gets their like Yamaha keyboard, <laughs> and yeah, and their Razor scooter. Can, but. I thought I thought the winners didn't the Teen Choice Award winners get also slimed? get slimed. Uh, yeah, well that's when you win. The, There's mixed messages when you win the Teen Choice Award because everyone does at least once. That's the peak of where your life's gonna go. Yeah. So you might as well just die. Mm-hmm. So Nick's just gonna do it for you. Nick is gonna come out. Nick Cannon, the current CEO of Nickelodeon in this AU, and he's just where, gonna stay the CEO. And he's just going to summon the foot. And we just call it the foot. Yep. It's a holy retribution. (laughs) (laughs) Sam disconnected. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) Okay, don't worry, Sam. We said a bunch of really cool, interesting stuff since you left. Sorry about that. I'm back. Yeah, Sam has taken this brief intermission. Now that you're back, Sam, 
let's say you just YouTube really good. You talk about your scooters in a really detailed fashion. You get a Teen Choice Award. What would you want to get? I want my fucking surfboard. Well, okay, they ran out of surfboards because you gave your holy retribution and gave all the surfboards to the previous winners. Then Nickelodeon can burn for not having the money for more. Jesus Christ. Do you just want a surfboard, Sam? Because I could... I just want to. We could all just chip in and get you a surfboard. Also, I do have to ask, since I'm now technically a paladin, (laughs) can I, like, wage a holy crusade against Nickelodeon? You sure Uh, can. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we could. Uh, what, What other crappy things have they done recently? Well, okay. I'll, I will, you know what, they did, they, they stood with the teens who, like, marched out of school. And so I will I will postpone their crusade. Well, I mean, honestly, I'll never forgive Nickelodeon for fanboy and chum chum. So, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty rough. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Or for the breadwinners, oh, for Sanjay and Craig. You remember the winners, the winning shows of Nickelodeon? What? Yeah. Honestly, though, fanboy and chum chum. That's unforgivable. Here's the thing. When it came out, I did enjoy fanboy and chum chum. Why? I was, I was young, I was ignorant, I was a fool, and I'm sorry, this is my public apology. Didn't they also do, like, that tack in the power of Juju? They, they did, did, but that did. was bomb. I mean... That was bomb, Sam. Uh, or was that... Was that... Cartoon Network? No, it was Nickelodeon. It was Nickelodeon. It was. Hmm. <laughs> uh, so, huh. yeah, so... To help you with your dream, Sam will. Uh, Sam's gonna. Sam's gonna do a lot to help you. Out. Yeah, d- d- don't worry. Don't worry about it, Tessa. Uh, your surfboards I, will I, will come. Surfboards. They they will come. Uh, I have a list of people I need to crusade against. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you just call them? Yeah. Out? Let's go through go it. Go for it. All right. First one who will be re- be receiving the harshest crusade is fucking Richard Spencer. I'm coming for him. I'm going to destroy That's him. True. True. True, Spencer. Yeah, the leader uh, of, like, the alt-right movement. Ah. Uh, yeah, the Nazi. He's going fucking down. Okay. The That's guy who got one. punched on live TV and, like, cried about it. And was like, y'all are bullying oh, I me. I want that. the Jews to die. Yeah. <laughs> but y'all are bullying me by punching me. But I want to kill all the blacks. Yeah, that guy is yeah, we, scum. We, that man needs to go down. So I assume this is in, like, order of priority. Sam? Yeah, when okay. I kill um, second... Mike Pence. <laughs> Ooh, he's up there too. Second, uh, definitely, for sure, Martin Shkrelke. Yeah. Who, how, yeah. I'm taking his ass down. The dude who made the cure for AIDS and then charged like a million dollars for it. <sighs> yeah. Brett's yeah. giving me, a, after yeah. every time you list someone's name, Brett's giving me a look of like, sum this dude up for me. <laughs> I don't know who this is. Just, I don't know names. He also bought the he also bought a Wu Tang Clan album, like it was the only copy of this album in existence, and he bought it and didn't even plan on listening to it. <laughs> it cost him like several million dollars. He was like, "I'm gonna buy it and keep it from everyone else." Uh, what a cool guy. I mean, obviously, I'm taking him down for the medicine part, but you know, the Wu Tang yeah, Clan also deserves that album. Probably sucked, but. You know, we still deserve to listen to it. Um, Who's next? The third is pretty much just all of the government. Okay. This is going to be a long journey for you. That one's going to be my longest crusade. And then, like, fourth and last on the tier is Nickelodeon. Is that what you're saying? For, no, fourth will be uh, Logan Paul. <laughs> okay. So we don't... I'm just going to say this now. We don't have time for, like, the suicide to forest, eight people. Dude. The balding yeah. guy. The balding guy. Yeah. In case you didn't ba- know who he was. The balding guy. <laughs> and finally Nickelodeon. Okay. All right. All right. And finally Nickelodeon. They got. I may add more. Uh, it, that 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 crusade list is still s- small, and <laughs> oh. as I have only recently gained my crusading powers. Yeah, I'm sure it'll definitely yeah. amp up in f- in the future. I, c- I can I can I plan on leveling up multiple times. Uh. Are you gonna? I were, were you thinking maybe you were gonna like do a subclass later on? No, I got I gotta go just straight paladin. Okay, yeah. Just 
great. But like chaotic good. That makes sense. Uh, I mean, if I'm taking if I'm taking down powerful figures, I obviously you can't be lawful good. Yeah, no chaotic good. You fit you fit good there, Sam. Yeah, um, for sure. I, I would say so. Nickelodeon, on the other hand, is Thank chaotic you. evil. Yes, as as well as all the people on the list. <laughs> I, I I think uh, yeah, yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> all right, let's yeah. move on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Who wants to go last? Uh, well, Sam has two thoughts, so I said we. I, I assume we could just leave the the ending to him. That way, we can just go on. Okay. So I'll get this law out of the way. Um. So this one's fun. This is a law from, which is it, Oklahoma. Okay. Okay, nearby. Wait, that's the whaling state where they. <laughs> <laughs> the whaling state. <laughs> um. This the the law says the word females instead of women, so you know we're off to a good start. Okay. Females are forbidden from doing their own hair unless they're licensed by the state. <sighs> All right. So how do they enforce this? Is my question. It's it's always a how do they enforce this question? Becky just gets up in the morning. Like, oh, man, it's, it, you know, it's going to be a long day today. I got to, oh, wait, I can't touch oh. my hair. I'm a female. Yeah. Does she like, pick, does she touch her comb and suddenly SWAT just burst through the windows? Like, freeze! Well, yeah, I just got very confused. And I think this is a much better topic to go down. I clicked the full text of the law button and got very confused oh. because I started reading the full text of the law, which states, the performance by any person of acts or simulated acts of sexual intercourse, masturbation, sodomy, bestiality, oral copulation, flagellation, or sexual acts which are otherwise prohibited by law. Uh, and then the other three paragraphs also talk about masturbating. And I was like, well, what the fuck does this have to do with the hair? So I scrolled up and I actually yeah, like, looked the full law for... Uh, it's illegal for the owner of a bar to allow anyone inside to pretend to have sex with a buffalo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> which this was a silly this was a silly mistake, but I think this is the better law to talk about. You think? <laughs> I was so lost because I was like, "What the fuck?" No, yeah, what I went on like a I went on a road of emotions just then. I was like, yeah, no one can do their hair. Let like, me read about this. Yeah. And I was like, masturbation, what? Okay. So just to clarify, you clicked the wrong I clicked show the wrong full. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I clicked the wrong one. You You clicked the wrong one and in, in doing so found an even better law. Yeah, so I'd like to thank my phone. And I would like to thank my stupid okay. finger. Alright. I need you to repeat the law. Okay. Like the simplified version of okay, it. Okay, yes. It is illegal for the owner of a bar to allow anyone inside to pretend to have sex with a buffalo. So if the people do it outside of the bar, it's fine. Oh, sure. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, you know, it's... It... And why specifically a buffalo? I'm not sure because in the full text of the law, it says... It's like number one, and it was the first thing I read. Number two, the actual intentional touching or caressing or fondling... By any person of the breasts, anus, or genitals. So like, and so, real quick, it was it was illegal for the it's illegal for the bartender to allow it. Yeah, but it's not illegal to do. Also, this this law is talking about like, touching other people. Like, I'm reading it, and everything's just like you cannot touch this or this, and it's just people what if buffalo is like a slang term for people who go to bars well now i'm doing research like oklahoma that's the first time we've ever said that on the show buffalo <laughs> well i don't know slang. you know water buffaloes you know they go to the watering hole the bar baby you you need i'm gonna stop you right there water bro. buffaloes stop what do you what what i'm sorry what they're made of water, Sam. Just what am I supposed to do about that? They live in the ocean. I mean, so I did some research, and <laughs> buffaloes is another uh, another way to say the N-word. 
Oh my god! Oh. What? Oh. What? Yeah. And that that's the official law. Well, I don't oh. I don't think I don't I don't know if the law is is, is using buffalo in the same term and like the same I use. I think it's a pretty I'm I think it's a pretty safe. Well, bet. when I say research, I also mean urban dictionary. So <laughs> let's not jump to conclusions. <laughs> what if what if what if the people making I the mean, law were just like, I want to I want to say, you know, black people, but I want to use a polite term. Like, what's one that I can use? And then they go to Urban Dictionary, they see Buffalo, like, great. And they didn't read the definition. Well, it's, it's apparently an older reference. So, like, it's from the old times. Like, well, then that makes me think it's like it's referring to black people in a derogatory way because this is likely an old law. That is, honestly is probably still on the books in Oklahoma, but isn't like when this law no one enforces from? it. And so we think it's weird today because they're like, oh, buffaloes. But then when you read the text of the law, you're like, oh, it means people. It's still pretend- Yeah, it's just fucking talking about any person on the licensed premises while such person is unclosed or in such attire, costume, or clothing as to expose to view any such portion person is the phrase that gives it of away. the areola of the female breast or any portion of pubic hair, buttocks, genitals, or any person to perform acts, blah, 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 on another person. What the fuck? Or inanimate objects to show. Oh, okay. Is, are they, is this a racist law? This is a racist well, law. No, cause it's not, it didn't really specify in the full text, like what race or anything, did it? No. It just it's just saying like if you pretend to have sex we're going to arrest you I guess. No, we're going to arrest the bar owner because he's not supposed to allow this. Yeah. It is illegal for the owner of a bar to allow anyone. No, to it's say. straight up like a racist law with a buffalo. Like it doesn't mention the a buffalo anywhere in in the in the thing. So I think the law summary is well, just like we don't want to say black person. I Yeah, I think that's what it and is. And we legally like, can't get the away Oklahoma- with saying yeah, the Oklahoma lawmakers were like, what's the best way we can be racist without, without overtly saying it in the law? Well, the thing about Oklahoma, they they love to have sex with animals. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the wrong state, Brett. No, are you sure? You're thinking of have a different state. Have you been state. to Oklahoma, sis? It's, it's, Oklahoma is an hour drive from where I live. <laughs> have you seen it? Yes. What's it look like? <laughs> Pretty much the exact same as Texas as far up as I've gone. Okay. There's a sign that says, Welcome to Oklahoma, now leaving Texas. I th- I think pretty much the, the, th- the fat of this law is us going further down as to what it means and being absolutely uh, disturbed and shocked. Well, at the meaning of it, and I don't think there's much else we're gonna get out of well, it. Well, I'm I'm reading I, more. I'm doing like more research on this specific law, and I'm reading that it's like okay, yeah, in Oklahoma statutes, blah blah blah, like they deal with these topics such as like nudity and sexual conduct and pub public and stuff and bars and whatever, and it mentions like bestiality in it, but they're only honing in on buffalo until this version of it. That says it is against the law for a bar owner to allow a person in the establishment to pretend to have sex with a buffalo or a flounder or a kangaroo or a person. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, so this is some douchebag named Todd who's just coming in like, huh, 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 and the bar owner's like, stop. And like, no, it's a flounder this time. Huh, 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 and they're like, uh, fine, a buffalo me. or a flounder. And they're like, All right, fine. They come back like, uh, it's a kangaroo. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> it's or a person this time. Uh, I just. Uh. Yeah, is it? <laughs> now I'm having trouble. Like, is this a racist law, or is this straight up just like, hey, don't fuck an animal? Well, I don't know what's going on. Now, if if we're if we're looking at it with buffalo having like a ra- a racial connotation, then are they re- when they say kangaroo, are they referring to like an Aussie, like someone from Australia? Know. What's a flounder? What's a flounder? And a person, I guess, is a white person, since Oklahoma is like, oh uh, yeah, white people, yeah, we'll call them people. <clears throat> that they're. There, there is a story to this. There must be a documentary about this very law, uh, because it just keeps getting more and more mysterious as we look further and further into it. And I, I don't think we can say with absolute positivity 
that buffalo is referring to a black person because it is an urban dictionary definition. Uh, uh, I just looked up. <clears throat> I just looked up uh, urban dic- de- uh, urban dictionary definition of flounder. The true definition of a flounder is a shapeless woman who has neither breasts nor an ass. She is thinly shaped up and down, much like the fish. And like me. Well, this is okay. I'm kind of like, is it? So now I'm like, it could still be people. But then it says person. It says person at the end. So like. What the fuck is also, going on? I looked up I looked up his kangaroo slang and all I got was a bunch of like lists of Aus- Aussie slang. I want to read this sentence cuz I'm still reading about like buffaloes and yes. stuff. Uh and this sentence is completely unrelated but it says everybody loves a buffalo, aka Bilo, buffalo or buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So, all right, and that's open to interpretation. I just wanted to say the word buffalo. ho. We'll just yeah, we'll use let's I will say one of the urban diction, urban dictionary definitions of kangaroo is a giant ribbit, rabbit that can kick your ass. <laughs> that's the the definition. And let's let's buff a hoe and kick ass into the next segment, please. <laughs> you know what? Okay. I'll say this. Oklahoma what the fuck do your laws mean? Like, are they racist or are you tr- legitimately trying to keep people from pr- performing bestiality acts? Either way, and the whales. you're on my crusade list Oklahoma, now. Why Whoa, the, whales? the entire state of Oklahoma. Yeah. The entire state of, Na- of Oklahoma is now on my crusade list until they explain what they mean by this law. Yeah. And also tell me, like, they have they have two conditions they have to meet to r- avoid my crusade. They have to tell me what this law means, mm-hmm. and they also have to explain to me why is whaling illegal in like Oklahoma. They, I'm yeah, fully for talk whaling being illegal. Too. I'm just confused why it's illegal in a landlocked state. Yeah, it's very, very confusing. They they just like to keep you on your toes, Oklahoma. So Oklahoma, I'm coming for you unless you answer these questions. Just know all right, that. contact us at thoughtsana at yeah. gmail Just anytime, Governor of Oklahoma. Anytime. In the meantime, Sam has a double Mr. whammy. O- Mr. and Miss, yeah, Mr. Oklahoma, contact me. <laughs> Today is a double Jeopardy episode where Sam has two thoughts. The daily double. So, so, I decided to go with two because both of them happen to do with uh, idioms. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I found them on the Shower Thoughts official Tumblr. Ah. And, um. So the first one today is when someone says, hold your horses, they're telling you to be stable. <laughs> yep. True. <laughs> okay. Yes. And I mean, I'm 20, I'm 21, almost 22. And I don't know why I didn't realize that. I realized it because I saw that post like a year ago. Oh, yeah. You. I mean, I, I don't, I don't want to ruin the fun, but I don't know much about it. We just take a lot of things for granted. Fine. I, guess so. I thought we'd go off. What's the other one? Maybe the other the one. The second. One, the second one is the person who came up with the phrase "finders keepers" was probably a fucking asshole. Yeah, finders keepers, losers weepers. Like fuck you. Yeah. But Christopher Columbus pulling like, into. I was America. about to say it was probably oh, him. <laughs> finders keepers and like. <laughs> yeah, he's like finders keepers, losers weepers, and the people are like, we live here. And he killed all the natives and. It put slavery in America. And fuck llamas. Yeah. And all that other cool stuff we celebrate on Columbus Day. <laughs> yeah, the quote unquote cool stuff. Yeah, Christopher Columbus fucked llamas. But not in a bar. Not, or he would have been arrested. Yeah. Not in a bar in Oklahoma. He would have been Yeah, expelled. he only did it on the streets of Oklahoma. Yeah. Uh maybe Christopher Columbus was the person who got that law like put into place. Maybe that law started all the way back then, because you know, like buffalo was still like walking around the entire country, just because like, whatever. Yeah, the white the white man had not killed all the buffalo. Yeah, so maybe like Christopher point. Columbus is like, what is this thing? I'll fuck it, and he started fucking it. But he happened to be inside of a bar. Ah, jeez. And the bar owner was like, "Don't do yep, that." Yep, yep. It's ancient bar. <laughs> not ancient. Yeah, like... ancient. <laughs> what was that? How long ago Post-modern. was that? An ancient Incan bar. Six hundred years, give or take. Yeah. Ancient. 
And so when when in this process does he say finders keepers losers weep? When he's fucking the buffalo. As he's fucking the buffalo. <laughs> like I found this buffalo. No, it's I, my property. I feel like he says it, but like in that same way that like a little kid does at each time he kills a native. Yeah. Finders keepers losers oh. weepers. Like I want all the gold. Oh. I want its mine. I want all the land. Ah. Welcome to the darkest episode of you Thought Sauna yet. You can have this part of America. <laughs> Here's your shitty you tiny you area. All of America. It's the darkest and probably most uh, not racist because not racist, but definitely racist driven topics. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> episode that we've had so Christopher far. Columbus, I'm crusading on your ass. Well, he's already now. dead, Sam. That's the problem. I will fucking destroy him. Again. He's he's gone. His he, his bones probably deteriorate. No, like if there's now, like if there's like a is. news article that's like local Denton adult uh grave robs Christopher Columbus. We know who it is. Do you know where he is, Sam? <laughs> Do you know where where he resides? Yeah, he's with the Holy Grail. And I'm going to destroy him. Why is he with the Holy Grail? Did he just he just found it? It's like it's mine. I want to be buried with it. Exactly. He saw it and claimed it, and then the like night dude from Indiana Jones who was like, "No, you can't just take it. You have to choose past the trial." And he's like, "No, I want it." And so he like quote unquote did the trial by drinking from every fucking glass in there. So he died there. Are we going oh. on a cross country into another country trip? It's an we're, international trip. Yep, because it looks like we're going to the Seville Cathedral in Spain. Spain! So we can dig up Christopher Columbus. And destroy his bones. <laughs> also, Thought Sonic goes Grail. to Spain. <laughs> <laughs> this episode of Thought Sauna, we find the Holy Grail. <laughs> On this episode of Thought Sauna, we go to Spain. The clues were in all of us all along in our hearts. Yep. What if we did? What if like on at, the podcast? At, now, now that, now that I'm, now that I'm, now that I'm a holy paladin, I actually have an innate sense of direction that always points me towards the Holy Grail. Don't worry, guys. Sam will be going on about his paladin abilities for the next ten episodes. So if you miss it once, You're... don't worry. You'll, you'll see it again. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna learn a lot about D and D paladins with this podcast. If you want to get into D and D, this is a perfect place to start. Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh. Now, Sam, could you roll me a d20 for that investigation check to find Christopher Columbus? Uh, yeah, let me grab my ba- my dice pouch real yeah, quick. Yeah, just real quick. Go ahead. Um, What do we? What exactly should we do when we find him? We dig up his bones, and then we, we, take, we take it back to the Thoughts on HQ. We just have it on display? Just yeah. in our HQ? Our trophy. <laughs> like, we did this. You, you said it was an investigation check, yes. right? Yes. That's uh, that's gonna be a sixteen plus two. Okay, 18. all right, eighteen. Not bad. Not you know bad. where Spain is. All right, I know where Spain yeah. is. Hell yeah! Yeah, that was a really good roll. Yep. Yeah, he's in there. He's in Spain. We'll find him. <laughs> you gotta burn the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to destroy a lot of things on this journey. We actually have to take Nick Cage on this journey to find, yeah, help us find it. where he's buried. We just have to put it in the GPS. <laughs> no, we got to burn the Declaration of he's Independence. He's in the Serville Cathedral. <laughs> we're going to go... We're going to go... Where was... How How much... Uh, how much different would... Uh, how, how, how much different of a movie would National Treasure have been had, like, smartphones been around then? Well, he still had to discover everything. You know, he, like, found the glasses in the brick wall and the... Well, yeah, but I feel like the mysteries would have been a lot easier. Maybe. I mean, what if he vlogged about it? What if he vlogged the whole way there? (laughs) (laughs) Nicolas Cage, like, hey, guys, welcome to my vlog. About to fucking steal the declaration. All right. This is my boy, Riley... Here we go. Be sure to like and to subscribe. Ghost Rider! And then he just goes in. <laughs> Ghost Rider. <laughs> These are very yeah, good thoughts. The... And saunas. He was the Ghost Rider. And... Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Holy shit. 
Nicolas Cage went in and stole the Declaration of Independence and went finders keepers. He sure did. Did did they ever actually return it in that movie? I don't remember that scene. Was Sam doing a Nicolas Cage role play by himself for like forty five seconds? He he was. <laughs> Let him have his head. Because I think we were just sitting here like while Sam made sound effects, and I was like, <laughs> "What?" <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of how like all your interactions with me. Yeah, go, if you so. meet Sam, that's pretty much how it's gonna be. <laughs> it's like a one man play. And then you're also kind of in there sometimes. There's a lot. There's of an audience effects. interaction. Yes, there's there's audience oh, yeah. interaction for sure. It's a it's a play that breaks the fourth wall. Literally, Constantly. you don't even have to know Sam. If you see him, tell him to like, just say do it, and, and then he'll just do an hour and a half play just by himself. So if you see him on the streets, on the square, yeah, on the Denton Square, he'll be he'll be hanging with Bowling for Soup as he always does. Uh, and maybe they'll pitch. Funny them. enough, you say that. Oh yeah. Bowling for Soup is doing a concert in Arlington in June. Bowling for Soup is doing a concert here on the twentieth of April. The twentieth April. Uh, you know what they dad is. Uh, what is it? Four twenty. <laughs> 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 Warp Tour 2018, baby. The best lineup they've ever had. They got Bowling for Soup. <sighs> We've gone so far off track this episode. No, look, we'll go with Bowling for Soup on their Warp Tour, and we'll go to Spain all together. And and we'll find the Declaration of Independence. In Spain. <laughs> In Spain. <laughs> Were we doing something else there? I can't remember. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Uh, I think, I think that'll about do it for this I think, yeah. episode. I think, I think we got, I think we hit it. Uh, remember, if you're ever looking for something, you gotta burn, you gotta destroy the Declaration of Independence if you're, if you're trying to get there. It's just a step you gotta go through. That We've all gone through it. the T. <laughs> so, uh, si- well, actually, Sam, you got any last words to say? I'm fucking coming for you, Nickelodeon! <laughs> Alright, take us out. <laughs> Alright. Be sure to join me and the entire staff members of Nickelodeon inside the Thought Sauna next week and bring your towel, because, man... The Thought Sauna cage match between Sam and all of Nickelodeon. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! (laughs) (laughs) Tune in. It's it's $8. It'll be fun. Yeah, $80. TV, what is it? Pay-per-view? Yeah, (laughs) pay-per-view. You can buy tickets. All right. At Thoughts on a Twitter. We're done. You don't want to plug Thoughts on us Twitter. Pl- F- Thoughts on a has a Facebook and a Gmail and a Discord. Uh, please send your dreams, your ideas, your thoughts, and your laws to 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 either the Facebook or the Gmail or the Discord to anything. We want to talk to you. We want you to talk to us. Uh, it's been 12 episodes. We should have something by now. Do we get one? One person? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Someone. All right. Keep it soggy. Keep. Ah. Oh, that's it. We're All done. right. Bye, that's everyone. All right.